With this new Instagram Reels feature, you can make your photo reels look amazing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add photos to reels, how to edit them, and then how to add transitions in between those photos. Hi, I'm Wonderful Ida, an educational video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. When making an Instagram reel with photos, I strongly suggest you start by adding a song because if you start by adding a song, you can already time the photos as they go to the song. It's just extra step to do it later. And if you do it this way, it's just gonna save you some time in the long run. So I'm gonna start by just going into music. I just picked a random song, it doesn't really matter. And now to add photos to your reel, you're just gonna swipe up. So I could go through my whole camera roll to add the photos, but I strongly suggest you make a fo folder with all the photos that you're gonna wanna add because it's gonna make it a lot easier for you. So there's two kinds of photos that you can add. You can add either just a regular photo or a live photo. The advantage of adding a live photo is that it's a clip so you can trim which part of it and there's a little bit more movement to it. So you can see in here I have a few regular photos and a few live photos. How do I know which is which? Well, the live photos are gonna have that circle, 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 circle on the top corner and that indicates it's a live photo. So if I click on a live photo, so you can see I have that movement in it. Now, the reason I added that music first is because I want to, as I'm adding these, I want to listen to the beat so that I can know how long to keep this photo on here for. Let's say to here and then add. Then I swipe up, I can go through and select one photo at a time to add it, or I can press this button, which allows me to select multiples. So it's right next to the green screen, that multiple button, and it's going to allow me to pick a few photos. So here's a good one. I'm gonna add a combination of live photos and not live photos, just so you see the difference. So there we go, we've got some photos in there. You can see when I add this, it's either gonna let me pause it as a photo or it's gonna let me do it as a live photo. Because I'm going to be adding this, adding transitions into this, I don't want these clips to be too short because if the video, the length of the video is too short, you're not gonna see the trans, it's gonna be transition a second and a transition. It's gonna be really hard to see the image. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna make this one really quick so you can see what happens if you add too short of a clip. There we go. Okay, so you'll know all of the photos have been added once it goes back to the camera mode. Once you're here, you could record yourself talking if you want to, or we could just edit what we have. So I'm gonna to go to preview and it's going to preview my photos all put together. Now, to add transitions, I go into edit, and I'm gonna click on transitions. This is going to allow me to add transitions in between these clips. So I click on the plus side between the clips, and then I can select what kind of transition I wanna add. I can clip to apply to all. This means that it would apply the same transition to all of it, but I want to do a little bit more work and I wanna look at what's gonna match with each of the clips. So let's see, for this one, I'm gonna press plus. Let's do, let's add this one. Okay, so remember how I said you want to make sure that your clip is long enough? Because look, this photo, it doesn't, with, by making the photo too short, it doesn't give you enough time to like really grasp the photo. It just brings, shows it to you and then it takes you right out of there immediately. So to fix that, I'm gonna get done out of here and I'm gonna click on that clip itself and I'm just going to extend the duration of this. So I'm just gonna move the bar so it's a little bit longer. And I'm still keeping that beat in mind. There we go. So there we have it. Now we have photos and we have transitions in between them. So next, I can press next, I can share this right now, or I can save it as a draft to have it for later. If you use this tip in your reels, I would love to see how it turned out. Be sure to tag me on Instagram. It's wonderful underscore Ida. And remember, messy action is always better than no action. Until next time, peace.